Hey everybody, welcome back. Doing another Marvel Future Revolution video. This time I want to give a shout out to the developers of this game. Uh, there's some stuff that I want to go through to show you why you might really want to pay attention to this game. And could it actually be a game that the developers care about? They want to improve it? They want to make a good experience for you? Sort of seems that way. Feels weird, I know, right? But we're going to cover that. A couple other tips we're going to throw in there uh, just for you so you can get a little bit more out of the video. Uh, some stuff about Prime Bosses, going through them. How do you unlock some uh, specific new characters? I know some people are having a hard time finding that, so I'm going to go through that real quick. So before we go there, check out the Discord link in the description below. Follow along with the content. We're doing a giveaway. More on that at the end. Uh, you know, hammer down that like button if you want to help the algorithm. I'd love you for it. If you want to join the giveaway, comment below. All right, let's go. Overthor. All right, first, uh, this is actually a couple days old that some people might already be aware of. For those of you who are not, I'll explain it. Uh, there was a problem with the dark zone area of the game where a bunch of you go against other players, uh, you, you beat each other up, you beat up enemies, all these different things. Well, there was an exploit where two players could basically just farm each other. Just non-stop keep farming each other or you could farm a player and just constantly take them out uh, what this did is help them get additional rewards now immediately this was known and immediately immediately the developers are kind of like hmm maybe we should look at this and this is cm carol where she talks about it that they're going to have it temporarily uh unavailable the dark zone they're going to have a closure period specifically for a little bit uh and then that uh, they're again they're saying when it's going to be the area it's going to be about please advise that the forum links can only be open to agents in canada uh in line with our soft launch just talking about that a little bit and then it goes through here uh, that uh, it, it again talks about the temporary maintenance. This uh, is similar but different where they're talking about adjusting points in the dark zone. And this is the part where you could kind of, you know, farm some specific people where I think it was currently um, you get 50 points for farming somebody. And then after that, you, they reduce the amount of points. So basically it puts a limit on you beating the same person over and 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 over basically a bullying mentality which i have to admit is kind of like well that shouldn't be there in the first place but again monster kudos for them saying hey this is a problem we need to fix it and it fix it now even in soft launch i mean i know a lot of us if you're here you're probably familiar with the other content that i do that has the related with marvel strike force and just kind of the problems we have over there you know there's been arena exploits that were out there forever uh that they're just kind of just there it's like yeah hey, we'll get to them i guess if they're important maybe i don't know you know and it's kind of like here it's like fixed fixed you know shut down immediately let's do this um their maintenance is they get a problem with it immediately communicated they came out hey this is what's going on right now just fyi we'll try to have it up back up right away you know i frankly i'm loving it so again then they come in here and they they announce hey it's down or that it's back up it's over please download and patch and get going uh and then again this is uh talking about another kind of post here where they're talking about this uh temporary maintenance and again server stabilization i'm just i'm looking at this going man the communication communication i'm like i'm loving this i am lit i mean i need a mcdonald's ad right now right put, put it up there youtube is it there all right, maybe not. I don't know. McDonald's, if you want, you, you want to talk, hit me up. Uh, I I don't know. Maybe it's just I'm, I'm an abused little puppy right now. But I really, really, really just loved what I saw from this. That they specifically this dark zone area where they very much, they being net marble, could have just let that go and just let people exploit it for a while. And it was what it was because these are their spenders and who cares? And they're getting money out of it and blah, blah, blah. But they didn't. They didn't they immediately were like this is wrong let's fix this and i like seeing that even in a soft launch the engagement from these developers uh you hear a lot about danny uh you know he's all over the place with the game i mean in a good way meaning like he's interacting with the community with people um i just i you feel and i hate to use that word but you feel this love from these developers where it's kind of like they want to make the game better they have long-term plans for this game to be awesome they want us engaged they want us engaged with each other and i haven't even gotten to the fact that it's not really pay to win you know it's like it's like pay to progress faster um 
I, I don't know if that's even the right way to say it, but it's like or go quicker or to save some time. Okay, I can deal with that. I love that. Now we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's early on in the game, it's still soft launch, but the, the initial, the things that I'm seeing are very positive signs. So if you're on the fence on this stuff and you, you're hesitant about developers, I will say right now, based on what I'm seeing, it is all positive, good signs. So that was the first part I want to do. Now let's get to some of these tips. All right, first tip, first tip. Now, let me get my screen over here. Do, 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 do. Now, how do you get more tunes? So, you know, you can get four free characters, right? So the question is, is like, so for instance, like when I go here, let me go to my home screen. If I wanted to select hero, okay. If I wanted to do this, let's just do this here. I can go back to that spot later. All right. So you can see I've got three Sarah and I could do one more, but you can see the other four are locked and I click it here. Purchase hero slot expansion ticket at the shop to unlock. Okay. Well, what does that mean? All right. I don't, I don't know what that means. It's like, how do, how do I specifically do that? All right. Well, there is obviously a shop in the game and you want to find that specific item. Now, you might actually have a problem trying to find that a little bit where it's kind of like, okay, now as we fly back to our other zone, so we're here and let's just click the shop button, right? So a little shopping cart. All right, well, what, I got these draws. I got all these different things I can go through. I got perks. I can go through all these daily perks, play perks, all these different things. I can go buy bundles da 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 so it's like all right well okay consumables tokens charges so we really want to focus on exactly where it's at and it's not hard you get it on the first page of consumables this spot right here hero slot expansion ticket 400 crystals essentially and you get you know these from playing the game a little bit i have not bought anything you can get four per squad at the moment i'm assuming that'll go up as the game adds heroes to it but you come here and then you can buy it here. And one of the things that I want to add is like, actually, when you buy this, let's, like, so we know we're going to buy one of these, right? So let's just buy one. All right. So we've done three, right? So now let's go to hero select again. All right. All right. I want to add a spot. Go to hero select. We're going to see, by the way, I love some of that. All right. So here's a spot. I want to do this. Purchase hero. All right. I already did that. Why is it not letting me do it? All right. So I'm clicking this. I'm like, what's the problem? They're all like this. It keeps saying do that. I'm like, what the heck? All right, so let's get out of there. All right. Oh, actually, let's go back to our character. You don't want to go all the way out of there. So we start with her. All right, so now how do I find this? What do I do? All right, so I've got this inventory. Here it is. Here's this item, right? Consumable hero slot expansion ticket. Let's use that. Use a hero slot expansion ticket moving to hero select when used. Okay, now it takes me out again. So this is kind of a weird, so you can see one, two, three, four, five. Now I've got five spots. I've used one. All right. So that's how that's done. It's a little clunky. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually going to pitch to them. Hey guys, I think that you should be able to just click here. And if you've got it, it'll say use that way. You don't have to jump back and forth in this, uh, between the screens. Uh, might even be great if you click this and it goes to the, the shop and you can click it and it automatically unlocks it. That'll be a little less clunky. But anyway, I wanted to share that as one of the tips that maybe you might struggle finding. And honestly, a lot of people are going to want to get their characters. So that's tip number one from this video. Okay, the other part of this um, I want to talk about, and I'm going to show a, a clip that I already took in game is about bosses, prime bosses, where it's like this person pops up. If you want to be able to, should you go get them, get them right now, right? Uh, the reason is, is like so you get certain things per day uh, for rewards and all that stuff. The other part of this is the activity log. So as I'm in here, I've got this villain log, right? That's one part, but the most wanted, you can see his yellow jacket. I got to kill him 10 times. This dude, I got to kill 30 times. This dude, 30 times. So as you go through your nebula 10 times, this dude, 30 times, 30, 30, 10, 30. So you get the idea. There's a whole bunch of villains that you got to kill a whole bunch of times. Now, if you go to the early section, like New Stark City, where you're looking at, it's not as much. Kingpin 2, this dude, 3, 3, 3. Ultron's 3, 5, 5. So you've got to kill these a little bit. Now, look, you get the most wanted. You get your daily, your your uh, special operations where you get the most wanted. You'll get some of these lower level bosses that you're going to have to do. Um, and you're going to also get uh, some prime boss. You should always hit. First off, if you ever get a prime boss, always go hit it. Always, in my mind. Um, but the other ones where it's kind of like, I'm talking about the activity log, like 
the thought that you'll see in the video in a second is basically to constantly get those because I was worried about you know, look, I've got to get this guy 10 times, 30 times, 30 times, one time. So I was talking with Neuromancer a little bit. Those of you who are familiar with the channel have probably seen him around. He's a good dude, uh, very good support of the channel. Always uh, appreciate the love. And his comment was, well, if you're leveling up all these other characters, you're probably going to get most of this over time. And you know what? He is probably right to an extent for sure. Like, would I still go around and pick these up as I go? Yeah, probably, because sometimes I don't know. I mean, am I going to get like, I'm almost going to be done with a zone here. Like, for instance, let's go back to, let's go to Hydra. Now, I'm done with the Hydra section for, I'm almost done with Storm for my second tune. So, yeah, I'm almost done with Red Skull. Great. This guy, I'm halfway done. This guy, I'm close to done. All right. So, maybe getting those Moss Wanted's in a, a zone like this, I am going to be able to finish it. But what I'm worried about a little bit, assuming I'm leveling one to three characters, but what I'm worried about is as I come here and they get a little bit higher, 30s, and it's going to be like, wait a minute, like this might be harder and I actually have to farm those. You know, let's go, go okay, I can't look at Sakaar and Megardia, but um, let's just use 30 as that baseline. Am I going to be able to finish that? I don't know, right? So anyway, I'm going to, you'll see the clip here in a second where I'm talking about you want to do it as you go, but I wanted to preface it with the uh, the idea that Neuromancer had as, as well, so you don't necessarily waste your time nonstop while doing it, but I think there's a nice balance in between there. So I'll, I'll put this little clip in right now, and you let me know what you think. I want to say you always want to make sure that you, as these things pop up, always do them when they are there as you're questing through a zone. I know you might not want to, be, or it, you might like want to stay on target or whatever, but the nice thing is, is as you're kind of killing the mini bosses, uh, most wanted, whatever you want to call them, it it gives you a better chance to spawn the other ones, the prime bosses like Red Skull. And that to me is kind of like, you don't want to come back later and have not a lot of people in the zone where you're also trying to, you know, get the prime bosses spawned. Because if you're doing that, it's, I don't know, it's just like, ugh, no one's here. I'm trying to do this, but like, killing all the bosses that show up, you're, you're already killing the, uh, I'd say the normal enemies that are just throughout the place. So it's kind of like, why not just, when you see these targets, now that was a prime target, right? So I would definitely recommend always doing that. So what it does is whenever I get Ubernaut or advanced Iron Man or any of these pop up, I want to go kill them because the more of those you kill, the higher chance that you've got for Red Skull or whatever prime boss to show up. And these guys show up, the other ones, these Ubernaut, Hydra, whatevers, they show up by killing all these uh, regular henchmen. So it's kind of like a hierarchy here. Kill these, which helps spawn these, these bosses. Kill these bosses helps um, the prime boss show up. So when you see them, go do them. That's really it. Super simple. All right. So speaking of bosses, we got one as we e exit through this video. Um, you know, I think that this is a great game. I love it. I hope that these those two tips were helpful. You know, I wanted to also mention the developer stuff because, you know, it's important. You know, I want to share what I'm experiencing with this game because, you know, in the soft launch, I feel like that's part of my responsibility to an extent to share with anybody who might be thinking of the game, right? Especially anybody who might be following the channel who maybe was seeing that I was talking about it. They might want to know like, well, how is the experience going? Like, do you think they're going to actually be good? Are they going to be solid? I don't know, maybe. And you just saw right there, like obviously for the day, I'm, you know, done with everything that I've got to do. All right. So no big deal. So I appreciate you stopping by. I mentioned the giveaway um, in the intro. What I'm doing with that is once we get to 10,000 subscribers, uh, we are going to be doing a giveaway to thank everybody for that support because it is very much appreciated. So I want to just kind of like, I don't know, say a thank you really. So once we get there, we're going to do that. If you want to enroll in that, comment below. Like I mentioned, the Discord link in the description. Hammer down the like button, click the notification bell, and subscribe. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.